Knoxville Utilities Board owns, operates, and maintains well over 2,000 miles of natural gas main in Knox County. Through them, we can deliver a reliable energy source to homes and businesses throughout our community every day. However, a natural gas leak can pose a serious safety hazard. That's why we want you to know how you can help prevent the natural gas leak and what to do if you suspect a natural gas leak in your neighborhood. Hi, Joseph. Are you familiar with our Call 811 Before You Dig program? Yes. I know that we're supposed to call before we do any landscaping or excavation. Then KUB or other utilities will come out and mark all the lines with paint. That way we don't dig into any underground utilities. Exactly. What we call third-party dig-ins are our number one cause of damage to KUB's underground utility lines. So, calling 811 really is important. When you dig into underground service lines, you not only interrupt service for you and your neighbors, but it can be extremely dangerous as well. I knew that calling 811 was important, but now I understand just how important it is for safety reasons. It's also the law. Once the area is marked, the next step is to respect those markings and dig with care. How would I know if there was a natural gas leak? I've heard that natural gas is odorless, colorless, and tasteless. You're right, natural gas is naturally odorless. KUB adds a chemical called mercaptan to the natural gas to give it a rotten egg smell. That helps make natural gas detectable long before it reaches a dangerous level. Smell is the most common way that leaks are identified, but you may also hear natural gas hissing or roaring as it escapes a damaged pipe. You may see the effects of natural gas leak too. If you notice bubbling in a flooded area or dead vegetation in an odd area, these could possibly be signs of natural gas leak. So is a natural gas leak dangerous? Natural gas is combustible. By itself, it's not flammable. But when it mixes with just the right concentration of air and comes in contact with an ignition source, it can ignite. So what do I do if I suspect that there's a natural gas leak outside of my home? First thing to do is leave the area immediately without turning anything on or off. Don't investigate the leak yourself. Don't use any electrical devices or even a cell phone. When you're a safe distance away, call KUB at 524-2911. Don't return to the area until the KB technician says it is safe to do so. So what happens when I call to report a leak? A special KB underground response technician will be sent immediately, arriving at the scene in about 20 to 40 minutes. All natural gas leak investigations are free and available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The technician has specialized equipment like this one that will detect even the smallest amounts of natural gas in air. He will check various locations including along the natural gas main lines, service lines, and meters for possible leaks. He also has specialized tools and instrumentation to check the natural gas levels below the ground to pinpoint a possible leak. Who's responsible for making the repairs? If the natural gas leak is a result of a faulty connection or pipe of a service or main line, the repair will be made at no cost to the customer. However, if the leak is caused by third-party dig-ins, as we discussed earlier, the excavator will be responsible for repair costs and face possible fines. That's another good reason to call before you dig. That's right. Call 811. It's simple to remember, an important way to stay safe and avoid costly repairs. One phone call to 811 will get all the underground utilities in your area marked within three business days, free of charge. Well, Joseph, looks like everything's in order here. Just remember, if you suspect a natural gas leak outside your home, call KUB immediately. Your safety is our top priority. Thanks, Dave. I will. Before we do any of our fall planning, I'll make sure to call 811.